I'm Peter Kennard and I'm showing my exhibition Code Red at um, Tron 103, um, which is a street level exhibition. And um, what I've done is create a wall of photo montages as an installation and um, it's a whole lot of images that relate to uh, climate catastrophe and um, uh, the situation we're in, that humanity is in. And I've called it Code Red, which is based on the um, words of the director, director general of the United Nations who talked about the latest report from the UN which, and saying that this is Code Red for humanity. Um, the, the report on, of the climate scientists. So uh, if we look at some of the work, the, it starts off with a, the clock, which is past midnight. Um, the hands have become missiles and it's a, about, um, well, it's stating that we're in this situation of absolute emergency now, um, absolute uh, climate emergency. And then all the images are montages, which is the joining of one image to another to create an um, idea of, I suppose it's, it's to do with the idea of making visible. It's something Milton, the poet, talked about, darkness visible. I want to actually make visible um, the situation we're in unless we as, as, a, a, as a world do something about it, um, something quickly, something serious and something that isn't just what um, Greta called the blah 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 of, um, of talk from politicians. It's got to be more than that now, we're in that, we're in that situation. Um, and I wanted to show that through images. Um, and uh, so as we move down the, the work, um, I'm showing a lot of images that use the, the, the image of the Earth, the, the, uh, the blue planet which was photographed by the Apollo space um, sound, um, uh, astronauts in 1972. And I use this as a sort of um, image that everyone knows. It's very important with my work that it it's uses sort of iconic photographs that people can really relate to easily. Um, and this one has got, has got a, a, a oil refinery explosion montaged onto the, onto the earth. And um, here we've got, in fact that's an image of me, I just, someone photographed me, I poured molasses all over myself, that's my eye. So um, some of them are straight photographs like that and others are, are more montages. And then as, as we move down, um, I, I can't really explain the images, hopefully they explain themselves, that's what my work's about, is about actually being able to um, communicate these images in, the people have got in their heads of the dangers that we've got, but I try and, it's another, what another poet, um, Percy Bysshe, Shelley talked about was um, uh, we must imagine what we know and, and I, I suppose these are like imaginings of what we know um, about what's going to happen unless we do something about it. Um, so so and, and this, this one again is tr it's to try and domesticate the image so it's, it's an image of the earth on a, on a gas ring. Um, uh, this one is, is, a, is a hand which has um, the stock market prices on it. It's like they're imprinted on, any, on everything, you know, this idea that we, we're going for profit rather than humanity. And this is the, the situation we're in, the, the, if we go on with this idea of economic expansion and um, we're, we're just imprinting this, uh, our own sort of death warrant on, 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 on our skin. Um, so and as we move down, this is again using an image of oil which turned into, which is on a globe, 
which has a sort of skull-like feel about it. Um, here we've got the sort of uh, modern, uh, modern city um, with very, very glamorous skyscrapers and then under the magnifying glass is, is a shanty town. And, and, and we know that the, it, it's the global south that is suffering now from, um, from climate, climate change in a big way. There are floods, there are, there's, there's famine, there's, um, uh, there's um, droughts, there's all the things that we're going through, which is, is a result of what's happening with the climate. Um, and so here we've got the cracked earth of a drought and then the, the tap is turning into a crack or it could be, could be oil. So there's that, you know, there's that sort of um, ambiguity. I want people to read into the images as well, so it's not just stating it directly. Um, and here we've got the earth being held by um, the arms that, that hold radioactive um, uh, materials as the earth itself becomes contaminated. And here again we've got the cracked earth with a, a dead tree and a, um, a surveillance camera. Um, and as I, as I say, it's imagining these futures um, which are... Uh, they look extreme but I always think it's best to actually push imagery as far as one can in terms of the, the, the strength of the image to show what is the direction that, the, that we're going in unless something happens. And that's why it's important to show it during COP26 because if this thing fails then, you know, we're gonna, it, it, it's going to have to be the peoples of the world who have to join together and actually um, break through the oil lobbies and break through all the, all the political chatter to something, to something real. We're talking about the whole planet now. Um, and here we got an hourglass with the, the, the uh, time is running out basically. And that's a, that's a symbol of the UN that's, that's in the, um, in the salt. Um, and, and here, again, I use this idea of the magnifying glass, like, you know, we, we see images all the time, we're bombarded by advertising, which is usually selling us um, mountains of crap, turning us into the idea of consumers, as individual consumers, rather than as a, a, a group of people who actually have to join together to change the situation, that we're not just individuals, we are actually, um, a, a, a human family and, and uh, down here it's got um, again the earth with a gas mask blacked out eyes and the missiles coming out and I try and connect the um, images of climate with uh, uh, um, like uh, armaments and um, the horrific obscene rise of, of um, new forms of weapons that are being developed all the time, spending billions and billions of pounds on, on weapons. In fact, the, the, the US um, defense industry or armaments industry is the biggest single um, user um, of uh, oil in the world. The biggest, um, they use more oil than any other um, organization in the world. So there's that connection the, you know, that is usually hidden. Here we've got a tree, that, that sort of cut down tree um, w with a sort of desolate landscape. And here's another image of a tree which is um, a, 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 a destroyed uh, city, it was in fact in Syria, and the trees turned into barbed wire um, amongst the destruction. So it's to show something that we know is the, is the most important thing in the world, which is, like, which is nature um, transformed into this sort of horrific image of, of violence. 
Um, and here we've got this idea that, you know, like uh, money is just um, coins, are something you can't eat. Um, you know, they, they become they become useless. And then um, that's the earth covered in oil and dust and various forms of material that are uh, uh, d destroying us, or polluting polluting the planet. And so that the the uh, corn is reduced to um, material for skeletons. And and then at the end, I wanted to have a a, a sort of some sort of hopefulness within the end. So here I've got a, a, one of those horrific B-52 bombers which is dropping bombs, but the bombs are turning into food sacks. Um, so there's that transfor and transformation in it. Um, so it, it's converting one thing which is about destruction and war into something about um, peace and uh, uh, the, you know, what, what could be possible. Because by showing all this, I actually want to talk about something, the obverse of this, something that's, something that's possible in the world, um, which is beyond all this horror. And so here the, you've got the Earth with the missiles coming off it, but they're all breaking up and, dis and destroying. The Earth is pushing through. And then here the, the, the Earth is like a sort of seed of a tree which is on top and, and with roots underneath. And then at the end, the clock which the, the sequence started with is being pulled back. Um, the hands are being pulled back by, um, by someone. And hopefully that's an image that suggests that we can all join together and pull back from this situation we're in. And we can lessen the, the controls of corporate power and corporate and oil lobbies and all these people that are still, you know, they're using greenwashing as a way to sort of show that what they really, what they're doing about um, renewables, but they're still basically turning out all this oil, pushing this stuff out from the ground that's, that's, that's destroying us.